Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. State funding for victim services is on the line as nonprofits wait for Governor Kemp to sign off on the new state budget. Cecily Stout spoke with Crisis Line and Safe House workers to hear how the lack of funding could affect their workers and the services they provide. Losing the therapy and their work that they do, I think it would cause a lot of issues for people like me that went through something that nobody understands. Katie is a survivor of sexual assault and was approached by Crisis Line and Safe House of Central Georgia two years ago. She says she isn't happy about the group potentially losing access to its services, one she still uses today. Dee Sims is the executive director. She says they're facing major federal funding cuts, but the state used American Rescue Plan Act funds to help. Now, those are drying up. We haven't really felt those cuts. Those ARPA funds are coming to an end. And VOCA, um, they have not replenished the VOCA funds. The state and House Senate agreed to spend some of the state's $36 billion budget on victim service providers. Sim says the proposed budget has $12.7 million allocated for programs like Crisis Line and Safe House, as well as almost 80 other nonprofits. Divide it evenly, we're still going to be about 600000 short of what we need to be where we are today. Sims says right now a majority of the state funding goes towards paying her staff. Another big part of the budget, having 24-hour facilities that meet the state standards. So just, just to run the shelter is over 900000 To run a sexual assault center is close to 300000 Without the budget approval, many of the victim services like advocacy, counseling, legal assistance, and access to medical assistance for the forensics exam would no longer be available. How do I make that hard decision? How do I decide what service it is that our community doesn't need? Katie says the services and staff saved her. I don't know where I would be without the therapy, honestly. Um, there are times I was really down, really down. It felt like I didn't have anything or anyone to go to. Sim says all they can do is wait to see what the governor will do. In Macon, Cecily Stout, 13 WMAZ News. The governor has until May 7th to sign the budget. He is expected to do so. You can help out Crisis Line and Safe House of Central Georgia by participating in their silent auction and fashion show fundraiser this Thursday at Emerson on Plum. You can donate to Crisis Line and Safe House when you add your bid in their silent auction. You can also check out the latest styles from boutiques and other surrounding stores in Macon.